Hello and welcome back to the Video Game Collector. Today we'll be looking at my MAME coffee table. The uh, reason why I went with the coffee table is because first of all I had no room on my wall. And second of all I could have used a little bit more storage so that's why I built this cabinet. The buttons and the controllers I bought off of uh, eBay. I paid about $60 for the buttons and the back controllers all together. And they come with a USB controller. Let's open it up. As you can see over here, I have a fan on the side. On the back, I have a port in the back, and then I have my hole over there where all my wires come out of. Now let's open it up. Now, here are my buttons and controllers and there is the USB controller and everything lights up too so there's a, a 5 volt output that I found on the side of the computer inside the computer which I hooked up this to here's a storage and I just put a little panel up on top just so I can have my keyboard and my mouse over there now here is my computer. It's an Intel 2 Duo processor. And I believe it's a 2.3 gigahertz. And I'm running Windows 7 Pro 64-bit. Uh, now inside over here you can see I have my audio out, which is a VGA cable going off of the computer, going into this and going out through S-Video or I could do it through Composite and over here I have just a splitter and that's just my audio it's going out through the speaker connector on the back of the computer and going into here and then out into my uh, into my TV and over here I have my power button this way you don't have to reach in and try to turn the computer on and off. You just have a little button over here that's hardwired to the button that's on the front of the computer. Um, Wi-Fi, keyboard, mouse, everything is connected through uh, the USB and they're all wireless. So like I said, I could have everything out and I don't need to reach my hand inside here to touch anything. Um, I have my fan. My fan is powered through one of the power couplings over here that hook up to a back if you want to put in like another DVD drive or something and there's another 5 volt connector I found over here which I hooked up all my uh, my button lights LEDs to and everything else so let's close this up and I'll hit the button comes on as you can see buttons are all lit side fan lights up and right away front end should be starting I'm using MAME 64 bit and I'm using Atomic FE as my front end controller for MAME for my amusement. So I select my game. Prepare for battle. Uh, start up on this it takes a little while the first time. Once once it starts up all the way, it's pretty quick. So to play, I have my buttons over here. 
Now the white buttons are the player one, player two, and the green buttons I use for coin buttons. There's my coin. There's my start. And as the controller moves, and plays one hand. Now when I'm done playing, I can just hit the player one, player two buttons together. It takes me back to the main screen. Now to turn this off, I turn this up and I go to keyboard, I hit escape, and it'll ask me a password to exit. Type in the password. And the system will shut off. So that's it. That's my main coffee table. Um, there will be add-ons added to this. Eventually I want to put a trackball on there and probably about two more buttons on each side. So that's it. Not bad for a two-week build. So come back and check out more videos.